All right, now that I have this IB24 out of the creek, I wanna go ahead and compare it to the HST24 that we have here. So when I posted pictures of the HST24 in the car and you guys saw the motor hanging down, there was a lot of concern about a little damage and it's gonna get wet and it's not gonna clear and it's hanging so low. Well, that's not, that's not an issue because this is the sub we're using. And if I come over here and I show you the difference, there's an inch and three quarter difference in mounting depth between the two subs. So we're good on clearance under the car. We knew this was the sub we were gonna be using, but for picture purposes, someone asked to see one. I only had this sub on hand, which was the HST. I dropped it in and then came all the comments about damage to the sub. This is what we're using. It's much shallower and it's gonna be awesome. But let's compare and contrast these two subs real quick. Both subs use the same surround, same cone, obviously same basket. And the difference here is Nick decided to go with the large glass carbon versus the standard cap on the HST. If we flip these guys over, this is where the major differences are. The cap really isn't a huge change. You see the motor here on this one. If I move my hand over here, we've got a much, much larger motor between the two. Um, we've got our spiders here. The spider on this one is very, very stiff. And the reason for that is it's infinite baffle. The motor and the suspension of the sub control cone movement. It doesn't have an air spring behind it to rely on to control it. It relies on motor force and the sub suspension. If we look deeper inside, you'll see the four inch bi copper coil. We move over here. We've got a much softer spider pack in this one. You can see even from the bottom side, nice soft spider. This is what gives these subs the extreme low end in your home theater and, and stuff like that. So if we look inside, you've still got that four inch bi copper coil. So between the two, the differences are in the motor and the spider pack. And I'm not sure, Nick may have a slightly different coil. I'm not sure. So there it is. There, oh, one more thing. Another difference between the two. On the HST24s, there's your motor. On this IV24, since this is going in the car and it's gonna be exposed to the elements as far as heat and humidity and you know possible mist coming up in the center of the car i went ahead and had nick uh just shoot this guy with clear lacquer so it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if the it's this sub or any sub but an in infinite baffle in the south we've got humidity here our summers are hot and humid and any humidity in the air whether it's a subwoofer or whatever if you have stuff that collects dust and dirt if it settles on it and you have constant humidity just you get that moisture droplets that form there and then they evaporate and then they form again and they evaporate that's where your corrosion is going to set in if you don't have the opportunity to wipe them and clean them you're going to get corrosion it doesn't matter if it's your chrome wheels the bumper on your car or your motor so to prevent that on this one we went ahead shot clear lacquer on it and this guy is better protected than a lot of subwoofers that are out there as far as elements and moisture and humidity. So, quick four minute video, show you guys the difference between the two and hopefully to alleviate any concerns that you guys had about how low this was hanging in the car. Even though this was not the right sub for the application, I had requests for pictures, I put it in, and everybody went crazy about it. This is what's going in. It's gonna be much shallower. And as soon as I weld this plate into the car, I will give you guys pictures. I'll see you next video.